Hey, we're here with Mark Buckingham, um, elite triathlete in the British squad. So we're here at Birmingham University. Um, Mark, tell us now about how you're using Boost and how you're thinking of using Boost to help you get through the wall. Um, so I've been, I've been using Boost um, in swim sessions. I don't come from a swimming background at all. I've been swimming for about three years now um, since I moved to Loughborough and started triathlon. Um, but I really find uh, that when we're doing real hard swim sets, um, specifically the, the the 100 meter reps where we do you know six by 100 off of 90 seconds recovery, and each one of those reps is max. So um, I finish a rep and I'm just gasping for air. Um, and then on the odd session, our coach gets us to climb out of the water. Um, and sort of take our recovery stood up on pool side because that kind of simulates what we do in transition you know we, we swim flat out in a race for you know 20 minutes get out of the water and we've got to run to our bike so it's that sensation, sensation sometimes of standing up where I sort of feel lightheaded and I sort of see stars um, so I've been using boost oxygen as soon as I get out of the water taking a couple of shots of that um, and I found that it speeds my recovery up it gets oxygen into the, the body a lot quicker to those muscles that need it um, so that then I'm ready and set for the next rep to hopefully you know be able to give a good maximum output again um, but yeah so for me it's, it's definitely the swimming that I found it um, the most helpful but now that we're coming into race season um, I'm going to be doing a lot more high intensity stuff on the bike and, and, and running um, rather than just sort of long miles, long mid-winter miles like we've been doing. I think using boosts for, especially on the bike, where um, you know, you've got your quads are just burning uh, with lactate after a hard session, um, I think it would be a good opportunity to use it then as well.